This is Chicago's very own WGN Midday News. Coming up, uh, wading through the Medicare maze, advice on how to choose the best coverage. We're back in two minutes. Midday fix time. Older Americans have uh, several options for Medicare, and it can become hard to wade through all of that information and figure out which option will fit your lifestyle, your budget. Joining us now with help, expert Matt Ferret, author of the book, Prepare for Medicare, The Insider's Guide to Buying Medicare Insurance. People get intimidated, and welcome, first of all. Get, get, they get a bit intimidated by this process, right? Sure. But you can break it down into essentially a fundamental blocks, and it's not that hard. Well, it's not that hard, but there are basically three ways you can kind of consume your Medicare coverage when you're 65 or, or older. Uh, and the first way is what I call bear with Medicare, and that's using your original Medicare Part A and Part B made in the 60s. Uh, it's a red, white, and blue card. Mm -hmm. And then adding a prescription drug plan or a Part D plan on top of it. The second way is to add uh, a Medigap or a Medicare supplement plan on top of that. There are a lot of gaps in original Medicare that those plans kind of cover. And then there's a third option called Medicare Advantage or Medicare Part C. Uh, that is kind of all in one combo plans. It takes the best of Medicare A and B and D and kind of puts it in one plan. All right, so let's revisit this. Now is the time to enroll. You have about uh, how many more weeks before the, the deadline is uh, approaching? Well, the marketing period started on October 1st, which is probably where all the mailboxes yes. are filling up and the TV commercials are out. Um, but also the actual uh, enrollment period begins October 15th and ends on December 7th. And so now's the time you're going to want to look at that pile of insurance uh, paperwork on your kitchen table and poke through it a a little bit and see if those benefits are changing. Let's break this down a little bit further. All right, Part A, that's mm -hmm. basically for hospitalization? Yes, hospitalization and some more, and then Part B for doctors and outpatient uh, procedures. That also covers equipment? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Anything else fall under that umbrella? Yeah, it's comprehensive medical coverage. There's not much that Origin Medicare doesn't cover in terms of medical insurance. It's that Part D insurance, which stands for drug, was prescription drug okay. plans. And the, the cost of the Part D can run what? From What's the range on the cost? Oh, gosh. Well, um, it can cost $4 a month for a Part D standalone plan, all the way up to $50 or $60 a month. It all depends on the type of plan. And then, But do, when you go to get your prescriptions filled and... Some people have a lot of prescriptions to get filled. Is there a copay associated with that as well? Usually, all, time? yep. Usually, always a lot of copays uh, and different tiering. And so, really, this time of the year is best to go shopping and make sure that your prescription drugs you're on are going to be on your formulary next year. And so, it's best to go and, and shop and see which drugs are going to be falling where. Some copays might be five dollars, and some might end up being fifty a month. Let me ask you this: So, in private insurance, there's all there's in network and out of network. Does the same apply? for when you get into Medicare at 65 and older? It can, and on that third option I talked about, Medicare Advantage, those do come with networks that you're probably familiar I with, see. HMOs and PPOs. But if you're using original Medicare, that bear with Medicare option number one, or option number two where you're buying a Medicare supplement to fill in those gaps, you don't have any networks. And that's why a lot of people like that second option. They, they buy Medicare supplements, they don't have any network. Um, but those networks are getting broader and broader in the Medicare Advantage plan too. I kind of break it all down in the book of, which one's the right choice for you? A plan with a network, a plan with no network, high premiums and, and no out-of-pocket, or low premiums, and you know, you use it when you need it. Obviously, pre-existing conditions do not factor in. They don't factor in, especially with Medicare Advantage. You can be 65 or 105, the premium will be the same, and uh, yeah, they, you, there's no medical underwriting on those plans. So somebody who is uh, new to this, the, the window is a little bit more forgiving if they're first time enrollees, correct? Exactly. If you're new to Medicare, you've got about a seven, you basically have a seven month window. It's the month of your birthday, three months prior and three months after, and that's a different enrollment period. So if you're turning 65 in January or February, there's no need to rush right now you've got a little more time but well, obviously words of the wise is maintain your current insurance plan until you get a, a verification from the feds that you're, you're in. Always. You definitely always want to make sure to keep whatever insurance coverage you've got until Medicare or the Medicare Advantage company says you're good to go with an effective date. Are you a fan of a, a supplemental, you know, AFLAC or whatever? Would you do that as well in addition to this? Or is that all covered 
with what you can pay a little bit out of pocket for as part of the, would you say, D? Yeah, I'm glad you asked that question because Original Medicare has a number of gaps in them. For example, Original Medicare doesn't cover dental, vision, or hearing, which is a big part of health care. Right. Um, Medicare Advantage plans oftentimes include that in that kind of combo plan, but that second option with Medicare Supplement or Medigap doesn't because it merely fills in the gaps of Original Medicare A and B. And so, yes, there are other plans and policies out there that you can buy standalone, that you can buy dental and vision and hearing insurance on top right, of that. Got a little, uh, about 30 seconds left. Final thoughts. Well, this is the time. This is the time to shop. And so uh, every year benefits change on your Medicare Advantage and your prescription drug plans mm -hmm. uh, effective June 1. Don't be surprised. Read your insurance paperwork. I walk you through the steps in my book of how to DIY it or find an expert Medicare insurance agent to help you out. You could be missing out on thousands of dollars if you don't shop. And I'm sure the, the rules of inflation would probably apply to some, in some regard to Medicare as well. It does. You definitely want to check your monthly premiums and see where they're going to be next year. Very good. All right. So it's a lot to digest, but listen, just get the book. The book is called uh, Prepare for Medicare, The Insider's Guide to Buying Medicare Insurance. Matt Ferret, we thank you so much for your time. He's a local guy too, so support local offers. Appreciate your time. Thank you.